Most executives look at the game, and that is they look at the game, they comment about the game, but they're not in the game, they're not playing the game. They're not the essence of the game. They're not sweating in the game. And so that's the big difference between those that are real successful. They, they want to get dirty, they want to get gritty, they want to get down in, into the mud, the grit, and, and really live in that C-suite of leadership that they need to have, whereas most just want the trappings of all that. They want to say that they're a player, but not really be the player. It's really about a state of mind. And do you want to change, adapt, or do you want to die? If you have a real good sense of who you are, then you can get to that. If you're very honest with yourself, very transparent, or what I like to use the word radically transparent, because I think more leaders who are radically transparent, it helps you to define who you are. Now, whether you're a performer, whether you're a speaker, whether you're an author, whether you're you know, a leader of a company, you, know, you should be able to look in the mirror and do a number of different things. And one of those things is to look at you know, what it is that I really am seeing in that mirror an old saying that you can't stop stupid, so I'm not surprised that there are people who always want to die or people who always don't want to change, and that makes my job that much easier. Jeffrey Hazlett, I've been called a global business celebrity, author, speaker, sometimes cowboy, and now television host. And I've never known anything else, whether I was 10 years old selling subscriptions door to door or whether I was a chief marketing officer of a Fortune 100 company. In essence, it's selling the, the real promise of what you're going to deliver. And so even before I understood what a promise really was, so I would put myself in their shoes of what it would be like to have this and what the value was for them to be able to buy whatever I was selling. What's the last thing I changed? Let's see, what was the last thing I changed? I changed everything. I, it, it, you know, I change everything, whether it's change my clothes, change my look. I mean, this is the business suit, but it's, you know, business on the outside, you know, party on the inside, right? I mean, it's always about making things that are different. You should always be changing. Just when you get it perfect, change it again. It's always great to go into a company and have people drink the Kool-Aid, but it's even more important for them to take the idea that you came with and make it their own. That's the real measure of success in leadership, is if I can make the people believe what we're talking about, that vision, take it and make it their own and exponentially throw it out to everybody, wow, that's exciting. Well, to me, going back to South Dakota is like a spiritual journey, for me. but it's my grounding. It's the place in which I go back to regroup and remember the roots and remember where you came from. I'm, I'm just a sometimes cowboy from South Dakota. I'd like to be a full-time cowboy, and that would that's my ultimate goal. But every day you decide whether the day's gonna run you or you're gonna run the day. I choose to run the day, and I choose to run it very fast. So at the end of the day, I'm exhausted, tired, worn out, but I still wanna keep doing it, then I've had a great day. I think if I looked at the world today and say, is there something I'd like to change that I haven't been able to do? Well, that's that we're all one people, that we're all in this world together. I would love to be able to change that. And it's gonna happen someday, it's just taken a lot longer than what we thought. I'm from South Dakota. I love talking to people. If you're ever in South Dakota or by South Dakota, come by and see us. But if not, you can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and just look on my website and connect with me.